If you clicked on this video saying, oh, I'm excited to see how Jenna journals and what her journaling process is, I'm fortunately, you're gonna be disappointed because I honestly am not a journaler. I'm sorry, it's something that I am personally working on and it's something that I am excited to talk about today because it's something that is not something I have a strength in, but it's something that I've been spending so much time recently researching and it's something that I'm personally going to start working on myself. So I wanna share with you guys what I've learned. This video, we're gonna be walking through uh, the nine different types of journaling. We're gonna be talking about some tips and hacks that I found that I think would be helpful um, no matter what type of work you're doing, um, specifically journaling. And then we're gonna be walking through my Notion template that I've created for you guys that's free. You guys can download it below and I hope that you guys check that out. So let's just walk into this video. I'll walk through kind of the reasons why I'm, I'm doing this video and, and, and my experience journaling as well as what I'm hoping to do as we move forward in life and the, the kind of the benefits of journaling and why I wanna get into it more. And it is my challenge for myself to start journaling. So why is journaling important? There are so many studies that have found that journaling can be so helpful. For me, one of the things I wanna start doing when I start this new journey, journaling journey, <laughs> journaling journey, is getting things out of my head, um, brain dumping, getting the stuff that I just constantly think about out of my head and onto the page. Now there's a couple different ways you can journal. Um, obviously the two main types is either analog or digital. Digital could be using Notion or using something like an iPad, uh, using good notes. And then with analog, it could be anything from a line notebook to bullet journaling to a lot of different ways that you can journal. For today's video, I'm specifically gonna be talking about the types of journaling, not so much the actual like physical or digital versions, but I am gonna be talking specifically about Notion as a journaling platform. So just wanted to clarify that. So I recently read this book, it's called Effortless Journaling. And what I found in this book was they had nine different types of journaling and I kinda wanna walk through each one and then walk through how I use that in Notion and how I've set it up so that you can select which one you wanna do and actually journal with that. Let's go through the nine different types of journaling. So number one, we have daily diary. This is really what you think of when you think of writing a journal is talking about your day, the things that went well, things that didn't go well. You can do this at the beginning of the day, the end of the day, most of the time you're probably doing it at the end of the day. But basically it's talking about your personal experiences, things that happened to you, um, inner thoughts, that sort of thing. So that's the first type of journaling is your daily diary. Number two is prompt journaling, which actually, quite a few of these actually use prompt journaling in them. But basically this is where you have a prompt or a question and then you answer that question. And this is helpful specifically for me because I, look at a blank page and I get very, very overwhelmed and I don't really want to just start writing. It's just not how I work. So prompt journaling is where you have a question or a prompt and you answer that prompt. You can do as many as you want in a day, but that is another type of journaling. All right, so the third type of journaling is called morning pages. Uh, this is from the book, The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. She created this idea. Basically, it's like brain dumping right first thing in the morning. The first thing you think of, you just start writing and it's a morning sort of routine, a, a sort of morning, uh, practice where you are just basically it's like a stream of consciousness first thing in the morning type of content that you are able to make uh, for yourself. It's really a great way to start the day, spark some creativity and just just start your day right. All right, number four is mindfulness journaling. This is really taking into consideration mindfulness, which can also be meditation, where you're really just trying to empty your mind and really just get a sense of where you are in the now. So this could include things like noticing sounds or smells or things around you, observing your thoughts and feelings, and just really become more in tune with your own emotions. So that's mindfulness journaling. All right, number five is gratitude journaling. This is where you share all the things you're grateful for. I feel like this is a pretty common one that a lot of people know about. This is a really powerful technique if you want to improve your mood because it's really gonna focus on the things that you have and really just write down what you're thankful for. And writing it down, you know, just the actual process of typing or writing can really solidify things in yourself. All right, number six is idea journaling. So this is really writing down ideas that you have, whether this is uh, new business ideas or brainstorming. This can be valuable specifically for people that work in maybe creative industries, entrepreneurs, or people that just want to be more creative. All right, number seven is goal journaling. So this is where you write down the things that you wanna do. This could be in like listicle format 
or really just writing down the things that you want in life, kind of planning your life, goal setting, all that sort of thing is goal planning. All that is under goal journaling and goal planning and you can really, you know, stay accountable. You can start tracking things. This is kind of almost like a habit tracker as well, but writing down your goals and planning those out. All right, number eight, this one doesn't always, in my opinion, work well on Notion and that's bullet journaling. Um, I think bullet journaling is better for physical analog type of writing. And this has been around for probably about a decade at this point. Uh, writer Carol invented this type of journaling and they have an entire method. I uh, highly recommend checking out their website. Actually, my friend Jessica works for Bullet Journal. She's the head of education there. So highly recommend looking into that company. It's a really, really cool company and they have a ton of resources on bullet journaling if that's something that you're interested in. And then finally, make your own journal. This is number nine in the book. They talk about basically picking whatever you want. It, it can be another type of thing. It's something that isn't included on this list. You can kind of design your own journal. So I wanted to walk through those nine types of journaling because I feel like giving you guys some ideas. This is this was really helpful for me as I am starting my journaling experience and my journaling journey. Um, I want to kind of figure out, okay, well, what what is journaling to me? Because I don't really know. That's why I've struggled with doing it my whole life. Is I'm like, well, I I, I have things in my head. I know I do, and I and I. I verbally talk about them and make content around it. But for me, I just, I've never been good at sitting and writing it down. So I wanna talk about some hacks that I found for doing this that I've read about, that I know have worked for me in other parts of my life. So I'm gonna start applying them to my journaling process. The first one is having a designated space, whether that's in your house or specifically within your computer to house your journaling. Um, for me, for a long time, I would use Apple Notes for all of my just random thoughts and it got so, convoluted and chaotic. So having a specific place in Notion every day, if you have downloaded my life tracker, I actually do have a section for journaling. Um, and that is something I have had basically able to have in my life. I just need to start using it more. So having a habit and a routine of putting it maybe on your calendar to start journaling or, you know, have it be part of your meditation in the morning. So you meditate and then you journal or having it be at the end of the day, um, you know, maybe starting a streak of, okay, like how many days in a row can I go with journaling? Or maybe just starting with, with small increments of maybe I have to write a couple of sentences or 500 characters or whatever it is, like start the process small and not having to spend an hour writing in your journal every day. Another thing that has really been helping me lately is I actually did a free trial last week of something called Flow Club, which, which is a body doubling group online. Uh, and it was super helpful to be able to set an intention for the hour or 90 minutes or however long I was doing basically a group work session where everyone's just kind of doing their own thing, but you kind of have other people surrounding you. And I was like, man, so many ADHDers need this. I want to talk about more. So you can go to Flow Club. This is not sponsored or anything. I just thought it was a really cool resource. And I think it's helpful, especially if you're like, hey, I really want to intentionally write in my journal. Maybe you start a Flow Club where you say, hey, I'm journaling for the next 30 minutes. And that's, that's your intention. And you sit and do that. So things like that, you know, setting intention, setting on your calendar, really making it a part of your daily routine is something that you can start doing as well. So I wanted to walk through also my uh, Notion template that I have for you guys. So this is a free template that I have. You can download it below. And basically it's just walking through. Um, it is a way that you can start setting up journal entries. And I also have some um, templates within the template so you can set up deciding which day um, for example, if you want to do morning pages today or you want to do a gratitude journal today, you can actually set that up as well as it's walked through all the different types of journaling and it gives you prompts for each one. So I give you guys 10 prompts for each one. So I'm going to walk through that right now with you. Okay, so here is a quick walkthrough of my new journaling guide slash just journal setup. So basically what this is, is each day you can set it up. So let's just say today is August 8th, let's just say. So you could start a new page for yourself. Then you're gonna click edit and over here, um, you're gonna click open inside peak. Now you can see I have all the different options for whichever one you wanna do. So for example, let's say you wanna do um, morning pages. Let's just say that that's what you wanna do. Okay, so let's say that you start a new page. Let's call it August 8th. Let's just pretend today's August 8th. So then what you're gonna see over here is there's gonna be a bunch of different options, whether it's daily diary, morning pages, etc. 
So let's just do this. So let's do morning pages. It's going to go over here. It's going to give you some prompts over here that you could start with. And then there's just basically a space to write. You can start writing that day. And that way you have it set. So let's just do example of writing. So now you can see if you go to August 8th, you can find all of that there. You can even remove this uh, if you don't want the prompts. But then now, you know, so for this one, let's pretend that this is a new one. So let's do idea journaling. So now this is going to set that up. Um, you can, I think it changes it if you don't have it set up. So we'll change that now. But you see the same thing. We have the prompts. Um, these are, and you can add your own prompts as well. So if you wanted to add more, uh, but it's just a way to kind of get started for yourself. So that's how you set up the each individual entries. And then down here, I have each different type. So you can kind of learn more about each one. And then here is where you list off all of the different places for all the prompts. So if you want to change these, add or change them, that is how it will work for yourself. So this is a really, really basic journaling guide um, and journal setup, but if you want to download it, you can check it out below. I do have, I have added this also to my ADHD Life Tracker template. So I just recently added it. So if you want to reduplicate that template, you will get this as well. So hope that you guys check that out. So this is what I'd recommend. Again, it, it covers the nine different types of journaling and you can definitely utilize that super well on Notion. I hope that this was a helpful video to kind of get you started thinking about journaling. This is something that I, again, I'm not an expert in. It's something that I'm learning myself and I wanted to start this video series about personal mastery with Notion and journaling was an idea. I was like, you know, I haven't covered journaling at, at all on this channel and I really want to talk about it. So I hope you guys check that out. Make sure to follow along for more episodes of this series and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.